You know, one of the things that you and uh, Veritas talked about on your show was how the scabs see people. Yeah. And and I kind of ran into a scenario where I think it was you who were talking about how they see like just a pixel change or something like that. And then yeah. they shoot you. Yeah. And, and I definitely ran into that. And I thought that was just an interesting like correlation because it seemed to me like they can see you in the dark and they don't have MVG at all. So it is, yeah. it, it's, it's kind of weird. It is weird. And, and, and from a game design perspective, I have no idea how to code games. So I'm sure that like the, the, the way we would all want it is really hard to do. So I don't, you know, but it does feel that way, right? It's just like, it's almost like a captcha where they're just looking and they're like, where's the fire hydrant? Oh, it's just that one. There's like, oh, there's the pixel. Just shoot it. You know what I mean? Whereas a PMC, I think the the analogy Veritas uses, if you're on labs on the other side behind some plants and it's foggy, like, an ex- yeah, you could see somebody there, but chances of are, you know what I mean? But if you are round that corner and there's a raider there, he's just like, Poof. you're like, oh, I'm dead. <laughs> right. I, I just find it crazy that the concept of like fog of war has been around since like, early rts right it's like mm, original yeah. warcrafts where they're like you're walking around and the ai doesn't trigger unless you like wander and explore yeah. that fog of war so it seems like there's some of that because like nighttime factory versus daytime factory again we're talking about mm-hmm. factory <laughs> um <laughs> you get you get that sort of difference in how they act but you're right like at some point it's there's probably an aggro range difference and it's probably yeah. comes down to that just pixel change but it's it's interesting how that simple concept of what at least when I remember it, it was RTS, right? It was the fog of war, yeah. and now it's it's very present again. And I got it's it's even funnier because like the new scav update's crazy. I was one of the last raids I had today, which was the heartbreak, was I was sprinting from uh, gate zero across to the little hut, and this scab just like one taps me. And he oh yells gosh. and one taps me from the ramp. And I'm just yep. like, what? How does this happen? And it's See, like, it doesn't I, happen yeah. very often, but they can do it. I feel like I've been one tapped by scavs way more this wipe. Like, uh, like, I was really one of those guys that was on the fence about face shields. Where like, one week I'll run one every raid and one week I won't even run one. Like, it's just like, it, I didn't really matter. But this wipe, it just feels like I get tapped in the face. You know, class four helmet, nice armor. And I just get right like head eyes so often by scavs that I find myself not being super comfortable bringing out a good kit unless you have that face shield more for scav protection than PMC protection. You know, most PMCs are running bullets that are going to pen a class three face shield, but just for that random buckshot spray, that's going to kill me if I don't have it. You know what I mean? Dude, I had the X fill and the face shield on and this dude just one taps me. I don't even know where he hit me. It was crazy. 